Hello everyone, welcome to Java Expert. In today's video, we will discuss about Spring Cloud Gateway. What and why is Spring Cloud Gateway? If you see in the microservice architecture, we may have many services which will run with different port and host, right? So this maintaining this different different host and port by the client who are actually going to consume your microservices is going to be a big challenge for them. So that's where the place we need this gateway you know, to route client's request to the, the corresponding downstream microservices based on some configuration and parameters. Okay. So API, you no, know, basically the Spring Cloud Gateway is API Gateway, which is implemented by Spring Cloud team. It provides the simple and effective way of routing the API request to downstream microservices based on the different parameters and configurations. And one more thing is API gateway is one of the design pattern in microservices architects, right? So if you see this, so API gateway design pattern will look like this is a very simple diagram where we can ab able to understand ACD, right? So just consider here we have a four different microservices and there is a client. So client will interact with your gateway only always. Okay. So client will not aware of what is the actual host and port where your actual microservices are running, right? So they will always interact with gateway and the gateway will have some configuration, will have the intelligence to route your you know, request to the, the appropriate microservices. So that's how we need to configure our gateway, right? Important parts of gateway. We have three important parts, route, predicate and filter. So what is route? Route is the block which contains the URL to which incoming request to be forwarded. So basically in the route block only we are going to mention our actual microservice host and port, right? Then the predicate, the predicate is the block which contains the condition criteria which should match to forward the incoming request to route URL. Basically in based on what condition that particular request needs to be forwarded to that particular microservices. So we are here is the place we are going to define some conditions, right? Then filter is a block where you can modify your incoming request. For example, incoming request is coming with some parameter. If you want to modify that parameter, we can we can do that in the filter block, right? So these are the main you no know, part in the Spring Cloud API gateway. That's me different types of predicates. So predicate is one of the important part, right? So in the previous slide, we seen three different parts, right? So predicate is the one, right? So we have 11 different predicates, which means, so when the client is giving a request to you, uh, request to the gateway, so based on what parameter we have to route the particular request to downstream microservices. The request may, may have different parameters, different types of inputs it may have, right? may have a path URL will be there, header will be there, header will be there and the time the when the request is getting initiated that parameter will be there, cookie will be there, host information will be there, method will be the HTTP method, post target. So we may, have, we may have a lot of information on the request, right? So based on what that request would be forwarded to downstream microservices, right? So we can, uh, you know, we can write our predicates based on these 11 uh, predicate factories, right? So in the practical session, we may you know going to do the uh, path and header based routing in practical sessions. If you can able to understand path and header, then remaining things are very easy. You can do it with your own. So that much it is easy it is, right? Fine. So now let's move to practical session. We are going to explore path and header based routing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with practical sessions. Let's create our API gateway now. In last session itself, we have created account and fund transfer microservices using Spring Boot. If you are not aware how to create simple microservices using Spring Boot, you can go through our previous video. So you can be able to easily understand how to create simple microservices. Right. So now let's create API gateway. So it's simple. Go to file new spring starter project it is same as how you have created account and fund transfer services the only thing is the starter project is going to be different for gateway service right i'll put some banking gateway's name 
then remaining things are almost similar banking gateway right and click on next I'll select uh, point uh, six point okay we will change it we are using 2.6.4 okay we will change it in the format XML itself right so here is the difference how we have created account and fund transfer right we have used some satter project so for a gateway spring cloud api gateway we have a starter project for that also just type gateway here so you can find a spring cloud routing gateway select this right and as usual we will select web project as well spring web right i think that's enough you now to configure very basic spring cloud api let's go right so our project is you now getting ready so project is ready now so before starting anything you will change this version to 2.6.4 if you are using 2.6.5 it's throw some error in bounded XML so we will use this 2.6.4 version here now so now our uh, you no know, AP gateway is ready now you have to configure for our account and fund transfer services based on what condition based on what predicate this incoming request needs to be routed to account or fund transfer services right in account and fund transfer services we have used application and properties file to configure the things now here we are going to use application yaml file both are going to serve the same purpose but the content format will be something different so you have to have both the formats so for that we are going to use application.yaml file here if you are using spring tool suit you have option here just right click on the application.property file you can able to find convert.properties to .yaml file i am now converting that to yaml file yes now open that file okay now we are going to configure the things as usual we will we will give us some name for this spring application name so format will be different right you can able to see it will be little, in, in property file it will be in a single line but the structure of this yaml file will be a little different right i'll give the name here banking gateway right next so as we discussed in the in the theory part we have three important part in the gateway right uh, the route predicate and filter right so now we have to configure the route so route for account and fund transfer right now we'll do the route so the route is comes under spring cloud part cloud dot gateway dot routes right so now we are going to write the routes now we needed two different routes right one for account and another one for fund transfer so now we will write the route for account so first i would provide id for that I'm giving ideas account route right next now given a unique ID for that now we have to configure what is the URI right just put a URI so what is the URI for the account service so account service is running in my local so I am putting localhost if it is running in any service what you can mention the, the particular IP or host name of that I'm running the account service with 334 right that's it so this is the place where my account service is running right now we have to do the predicate so predicate is the condition so based on what that incoming request from the client needs to be routed to this account service so what is the condition so we have seen 11 predicate in our theory session so in practical we are going to explore path and header right so in account section in the for the account service you use path and the fund transfer we will use that uh, no know predicate so account will use path so path means so in the url in the uri part when you're hitting when you hit the request from the client you will have a url right the endpoint right 
so that if that particular path is containing this particular text then that needs to be routed to this url so that's how this path will work right so now we, we want to know what is the path for account microservice so go to con account controller so now this will be the path banking account then slash it will be create account banking account slash then it will be get accounts because we have two different endpoints so if your url contains banking slash account then that particular request needs to be routed to this account service it may be create account or it may be get account so this is our path so here we have to provide this one so which means if you have you are having banking slash account slash then whatever it may be it will go to your account service which means local host colon triple three so it will go to that particular service right now we have done the configuration for account service next we will do it same thing for fund transfer also so as you already said we'll use path predicate for account and header predicate for fund transfer so right now uh, we'll give id for that fund transfer route okay next we have to provide uri what is a uri so fund transfer is running in my local machine with triple five port right next we have to provide the predicates so what's a predicate as i already said we will use header predicate for this so we have to write the header equal to so what is the header we're going to use so header will have a key pair value what is a header no key what is the value so we will put service as a header so service what service it's going to be fund transfer so if you have a header value key as a service and value as a fund transfer that particular request should router to this fund transfer service which means local host colon triple five port service right so now we have done the configuration for both uh, account and fund transfer microservices in the gateway now our gateway is completely ready right now we will start the services so we will start our services one by one let me start account service first so account service is started let me start fund transfer so fund transfer also started now let me start banking service so for banking service no uh, sorry not the banking service the banking gateway we are not mentioned in explicitly port for that normally we can do that but we didn't do here so if you're not doing the you no know, explicit port configuration for this you know gateway service by default it will run with 8080 port right so we have to know call our you no know, uh, no initial request for 8080 port so let's start our uh, api gateway service so now ap gateway service also up so all uh, all our three services are up and running now let's initiate the request so before that let's know you know if you know how we are done for account and fund transfer services we will be storing the data in the database so we will check that also once so here we have opened both uh, account and fund transfer databases right so initially it will be empty if you want to understand how this works you can refer our previous video right so now let's initiate the request here fine let's open the uh, let's in the previous session uh, we have tested this microservice with the actual port and host right where the microservice is actually running so it will work like this okay uh, for example our uh, account microservice is running with the triple three port so if you invoke this triple three and this endpoint so the data will be stored so we can go and check in db right okay the same way if we go to uh, our fund transfer also we will be calling like this right it will be like triple five banking fund transfer and process so if we click the request 
it will be processed okay so you can go to here okay here also you can check it out data will be stored in the database so it works it works when we're calling the actual port where the microservice is running now we're going to test whether the gateway is working properly or not right so now just copy the this entire url which we have used already okay so now instead of triple three we are going to use 8080 so 8080 is the port where our gateway is running for gateway we are not explicitly mentioned the port but by default it will run with 8080 if you are not mentioning it right so we are given the port here now endpoint you provide us URI is provided as banking account and create account okay now I'll copy this payload and provide it here right now we'll see it out because we are not calling the the exact microservice where the cycle running we're calling the gateway now we'll see whether the rate the gateway is doing the proper routing or not right yes we call the gateway it is being routed to the account the microservice based on the configuration we did and we got the response also we'll see whether the database got impacted account yes we do have one more also right now the same way we will check it out for fund transfer microservice because fund transfer microservice we did header based routing right so if you see uh here uh, account service it's it's getting routed based on the path if your url is having banking that account it is being routed to uh, our account service but in case of fund transfer we have configured header based routing right we'll we'll do that how we can first i'll put a, a payload here a transaction id will be two so here we have to mention the header so what is the header we have provided we provided key as a service and the value should be fund transfer if the service if a key service and the value is a fund transfer and our gateways would route this particular request to fund transfer uh, microservice let's try it out yes it works right we call the gateway we provided the header value and it's being routed as uh, as per our expectation right let's see the database where we have data yes it works no yeah so this is the way we have to configure our uh, a gateway uh, there are 11 different predicates we have we have no now we have basic thing done with path and header uh, predicates the same way you can explore for other predicates as well right so as we have no run for uh, create account and uh, process transaction the same way you can use other endpoints also we have uh, other uh, things right so get accounts we can use it instead of create account the get account it should be get method and send you can see the list of accounts you have created right the same way here also we have our in fund transfer we have a get transaction endpoint so instead of process transaction we'll give get transaction and get method get request yes we got all the transactions okay two transactions we got two data two you no know, json response yes that's it guys so this is how our spring cloud gateway works so there are many other uh, things which you can explore yourself if you know that the basic uh, steps which you have done now so the remaining predicates which you can you know use and explore yourself to you know explore many things so i think that's it guys so we're done with our uh, practical session also so i'll see you in the next session thank you